Sup, sup, sup. My name is Rue for the Yu Gi Oh! Council. You guys asked for it. Updated ABC deck profile. Simple as one, two, and three. Well, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to show you some duels. We're going to show you the deck in action, and we're going to take it from there. That's how we do it, ladies and gents. So he goes for a reasoning. He's trying to play the uh, Dominion, Dom uh, Dominion Monarchs, however you want to phrase that. I'm playing Twin Twists. I'm playing Union Hanger, and I'm going off. I'm going off like it, like the world's ending right now. Got that Norton Instant Fuse play. Go into the Katakuri Synchro, which may sound kind of crazy, but hey, free fucking tuner to the board. And a uh, bunch of cards. So get the Cypher and Lord Omega, get the ABC Buster. Now you're probably saying to yourself, why is Cypher and Lord Omega in the deck? Why is this Katakuri Watchdog? Well, I'm going to get to that shortly. So I want to show you basically when the deck goes off, how it functions and whatnot. And now I'll show you some amazing, amazing grind games. Trust me. So obviously, if you don't know what ABC do now, Union Hanger, whenever you put a little, you know, C, Wyvern, A, whatever on the board, it's going to be able to equip something. You always want to equip B. Because B, when it gets destroyed, if you make an exceed, it's going to get you a search. And that gets you to C or A, whatever missing component you're missing. I have Cyber Dragon Infinity plus the Dragon Luster little lock. It's great. I know Winter Cherries is a thing. That's why I'm running Cypher and Lord Omega now to counteract it to some fucking degree because I'm really considering Digusto Emerel in the extra deck just for that reason. But Cypher and Lord Omega, too strong. You're, you're going to see it get played here a little bit. Just start putting them back one by one. My opponent's like, nope, just nope. I really do think, and this is a mirror match, by the way. I really do think it does have some kind of, it's some kind of say that hey, you should put Digusto Amarel in the extra deck there to really make use of it. My opponent can go off there, so I'm going to basically just punish him by being able to go completely off because it's fun to be able to completely go off. He's got the Sea Wyvern and the the Hanger. I'm gonna obviously negate the Hanger to slow him down, and I have Max C to recover. There is a few other cards you can use to recover besides Max C, so that is a that is a legit thing. He goes for the Instant Fuzz, I go for the Max C Challenge. He goes Norden, I'm guaranteed two cards here because of it. Goes Castell, I'm solid striking that, I'm not going to allow that to go off. And he's like, Union Hanger, you know, go to Assault Core, Union Hanger Effect, go into Wyvern, attack into it. I'm like, okay, oh, main phase two, ABC Buster Dragon, how lovely. I target his, he targets mine, I Cyber Dragon Nova, I mean, I'm sorry, Infinity, it, so much was happening, he goes for a second one, I'm just like, alright, you want to play this game, we'll play this game, just put three, you know, back from the bath zone, and send my monster to the grave, and take it from there, so I know he can basically, uh, you know, get rid of anything, so I'm like, I'm not going to go into the buster just yet, I'm going to basically capitalize here, forcing out his effect, He's going for all three. That's perfectly cool. The grind game in this deck, man, it's it's a little it's a little wonky, crazy. Like it, there's no other way to put it. It's just absolutely insane. But I take out a core piece there. C. I I I don't believe he has another C in the grave. Let me just pause it here. I don't believe he has another C in the grave. So yeah, he didn't. He couldn't capitalize on that. As most ABC players will only run two Cs. So if you banish out both Cs, then it, the damn thing ain't coming out. So. That's a that's a good way to deal with it. I was running Transmodify during this time, but obviously it's not in the deck anymore. Spoiler, trust me, I'll explain why momentarily. Assault Core basically protects you from monster effects, so that's pretty much why he was like, fuck this shit. And uh, just, you know, I, I outgrinded it pretty much. I was playing extremely smart, so the deck's not just drop ABC Buster. You've got to really have some knowledge of flexibility and what to do in certain situations there is that knowledge yes it's very easy to play i'm not going to fucking deny that it's a very easy deck to play this there's, there's no denying that he goes for the spirit dragon spirit dragon with, with moonlight is so good right now seriously it's so fucking good but uh just i have the galaxy soldier he's gonna go for spirit dragon he goes for azure eyes i'm like all right that's respectable you know he goes for feck Miller. god damn it you son of a bitch Goes for Twin Twister. This man has all the fucking outs today. Go for Buster. Go for ABC Buster. Murder out his monster. Set the vanity's emptiness. Call it a turn. Ajurai is protected, obviously. Ajurai is going to go for effect. Nope. Vanity's emptiness, sir. Vanity's emptiness. He goes for White Stone to pull back Blue Eyes. So he has a car in hand. Takes out my vanities. That's cool. Now I'm going to uh, 
accidentally target my own monster like a fucking retard. Because here's what happened. I thought the Azurai's protection was over. It was actually over on my turn. I was being stupid. So instead of punishing myself, I make the best play I can out of the misplay, which is Utopia Lightning and the Tsukiyomi, which if you don't know about this card, is really good. If you have like two if you have two or less cards in your hand, at least one, you could discard them and basically draw two new cards. Now that doesn't sound like tons, but honestly in a deck like this that wants to get its components into the graveyard, it's fantastic. Obviously here I need a top deck. That's not a top deck. Get rid of two. I'm able to make Buster Dragon. Oh wait, look, I'm able to make two. And I have another Galaxy Soldier to get to the next one. And I can you go for Cyber Dragon Infinity and pretty much call it a game. Now I'm gonna have I'm going to have to show you this. This is against Cosmo. I actually stayed in. Yeah, I actually stayed in. Um, the thing is, with Cosmo, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's a lack of experience with me. You'll see when the match ends. He goes through Dark Planet. I'm like, hello? I didn't even know Dark Planet could do that. That's pretty damn dank. Let me go to Utopia the Lightning. That's pretty much the greatest thing I can go to here. No, uh, no honest plays for you. This guy pretty much knew what he was doing with Cosmos. So, warning the farm girl, because I do not want to summon coming to the board. Regardless of what it is, I need control of the game state. And obviously, my hand's starting to deplete here, just ever so slightly, but it's getting there, and it's not it's not good at all. He goes for Cosmotown. He wants to bring one back. I'm like, nope, I cannot allow that. But he's still going to get a search, so Strawman's going to do it for him. And I don't really know if that was a complete misplay, but it cost me a Utopia of Lightning at the, you know, the end of the day. Who knows? Because he could have used the Mulligan Effect to put stuff back and gone from there. But Tin Can, so strong, man. So strong. And uh, here I just do not get into anything I need. He's got the Dark Eclipser. And that's pretty much going to shut me out. Because I really cannot do shit against the deck. And he has the Raigeki, which is going to be game. Because he's able to put the damage on the board. Yeah, I lost. There you go. I, I show you the losses. The losses. I'll be honest, I didn't really lose too often when I was putting this deck together, especially the final version. The Cosmo was pretty much the one loss that really mattered, because the other one was Exodia and Burn. So, pretty much stalled out, draw what they need, burn what they need kind of thing. So, that's pretty much why I did not feature them. And that's me being completely honest. The Cosmo matchup, I felt, was great to show regardless. It could just be my inexperience or the fact that I couldn't draw into my plays. But it still mattered, so I wanted to show it. Here's the updated deck profile. Transmodify is no longer part of the deck, but Galaxy Soldier is still there. I think this it basically puts two of the best components together. It gives you an aggressive but stun variant while also being able to deal with certain things. And I did make the comment I want to put in Daigasso MRL into the extra deck, and I'm going to explain why now. Because when people play Winter Cherries, they're going to banish out your stuff. That's okay, because we have two silver, two gold gadget. Now, if we use those with the Karakuri Tuner, which is searchable through Gyrion X, we're able to make Cypher and Lord Omega. Cypher and Lord Omega is able to put it back into the graveyard. And then, with the help of Daigasso Emerel, and yes, I know that requires tons of setup, but hey, it's a counter to it. You're able to put it back in. That or Necroface is going to be sided. It's going to be one of the two, because Winter Cherries does hurt the fuck out of this deck. And someone did play it against me, but the file got corrupted, unfortunately. He ripped out my ABC Dragon Buster, and I just made a Cyber Dragon Infinity. That's pretty much why I like this version better, because it's not just rank 4 spam with Buster on top, to be completely fair. But, I'll still probably do this more stun variant. So let's get into this. We have three Galaxy Soldiers, because Galaxy Soldiers are Cyber Dragon Infinity food. You do not need Transmodify with it. It's a fun combo, but after you play the first trance, modify with it, the other two are instantly dead, and even if you're going to use it for Buster, what happens in that situation if you can't get to Buster? Then you're just left with dead cards. So I wanted to eliminate that factor and go from there. Then we have three Assault Core, two Gold Gadget, three Buster Drake, two Silver Gadget, and three Crush Wyvern. The reason for Crush Wyvern, as shown in the Mirror Match, most people only play two, and if you can't recycle it back, you could pretty much just lose the game. And I know the third one sucks drawing into, but it matters because it's getting to a key card. And since it's getting to a key card, I wanted to capitalize on that factor and use it. Then we also have two Karakuri Watchdogs, Instant Fuzz, 
is so good with this, and two maxi. That's a 20 card monster lineup with 14 spells and 6 traps. Then we have two Inns of Fusion. We're going to use that for Norden to get into Scarlight, to get inside from Lord Omega, or to get into the Saki Saki Karakuri Synchro. We can also use that to get to some of our rank 4s. It does, it's got a lot of flexibility. <clears throat> now, I will say this much, I'm considering putting a third one in, but there wasn't room because I felt Twin Twister was more important. And of course, we run the one Red Keki with the two Pot of Stupidity or Pot of Desires, however you want to phrase that. And for a deck like this, it does work. Cypher and Lord Omega can put it back in the graveyard. That's a whole thing that is easy to pull off. We have three Terraforming because, again, when you're running this card, you need to max out on your most important combo pieces. Whatever's going to get you to where you need to go, you've got to max out on it. Three Twin Twister, three Union Hanger, one Bottomless, one Vanities, three Notice, and one Warning. Or three strike, if you want to say the TCG name. For the extra deck, three ABC Dragon Buster, one uh, Norden, one Scarlight, one Cypher and Lord Omega, one Katakuri Synchro, the level eight, one Cyber Dragon Infinity, one Utopia Lightning, one Cyber Dragon Nova, one Utopia, one Girgian X, one Castell, Direwolf, and the Bujutin Sukiyomi. I'm probably always going to butcher that name, so my apologies. I just call it the Bujin Synchro. Uh, Bujin Exceed. Sorry. Sorry. Now, back to the point here. This is the more aggressive version. The I want to say the close to proper way of playing it, but I'm still expanding on the theories of getting over that freaking ugly Winter Cherries. It's so good, though. But uh, I think Cypher and Lord Omega is the key to siding out for that, but... Necroface also works in the side deck, so I recommend two Necrofaces for the Winter Cherry plays that your opponents are going to definitely play against you. But that's just my thoughts. Share yours down below, and let me know what other deck profiles you want to see here on the channel, and I will make it happen. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, if you guys want a combo guide more in-depth, even though I have featured combos in here, then let me know down in the comment section. I will make it happen. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.